Yeah, don't fill your wood stove full of cardboard till it won't fit anymore, and then light it. Especially when you only have a four foot chimney coming off the top of the stove. I have made a flamethrower out of my uh, wood stove. And uh, it, it's in a camper van. There's a flamethrower on top of my camper van. Luckily the chimney comes out in a safe spot. I'm not worried about it. I've had this happen before. I could easily shut the flame down by shutting the baffle off in the stove or shutting it down a little bit. I'm just going to let it burn up. Yeah, just thought it was neat. Okay, so there's the wood stove. I'm just burning cardboard boxes and stuff, you know, just to get rid of it. I have the diesel heater, which is going there. It, well, it's not supposed to be installed there, but that's where it's sitting at the moment. But it's it's heating the place up right now. So, I mean, I've got it turned almost all the way down just because I don't need the heat because this thing's going, <laughs> the wood stove. But, yeah, it's just like a four-foot chimney shooting uh, flames out the top of the van. I wouldn't call it safe. However, people complain and say, don't put an elbow in your wood stove. I say if your wood stove has a chimney this short, whether you're coming straight off the top of it, going left or right or back, if you got a chimney this short, you can have a couple of elbows and you shouldn't have any flow problems, no matter which direction you're going. It's like four foot. So yeah, I could have done with an elbow and I probably would have been better off because I might not have a spouting flamethrower if I did. It's starting to burn down. I can see less and less flame. Thankfully, let's see if we can see inside there. Yeah. I also have a little homemade do whacky uh, made from coconut oil can canister and... Uh, a broken hairdryer. All that was broken was a little capacitor or something in there. I forget what part it was. I think it was just a no. It was a diode because it rectified from AC to DC with just four diodes, and one of the diodes was bad. So I made this fan thing. It's supposed to be attached to something else, but right now it's just on a wire, and it's also just what I use to blow into there to. Uh, you know, stoke the fire. Makes it easier on me. Gets it going. Make sure everything burns up to pure ash. But yeah, thought I'd make a little video on my wood stove. It's literally sitting on the swivel plate. So that plate just bolts down with one big massive nut in the center there. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, right over there by that scrap piece of metal that's from the roof when I cut the hole. Uh, how it survived sitting there this whole time. I don't know. Because it's been there all year. But, uh, and I was originally going to bolt this wood stove down. I mean, it is technically bolted down because I took the... Well, I was originally going to bolt the wood stove down, so the legs didn't come with like a flat bit at the bottom and a hole in it or anything. So I cut them and then bent flat bits at the bottom of all the legs. And then, well, I did it wrong. So then when I put it on here, it was wobbly and it didn't sit right. So that's when I made a last minute decision to just heavy duty tack weld it on. And yeah, it's rusty. I didn't paint it. They're nothing right. They're just heavy-duty tacks on all four corners. And I drive around with it like that. I'm so safe. Uh, this was never going to be a permanent install for this wood stove anyways. But it's been here all year just fine. It doesn't go anywhere. It's on a big... The original four bolts hold this uh, swivel thingy down. Technically, this wood stove could swivel if I disconnected the pipe, because the pipe's not center of the swivel mount. All I gotta do is pull the lever over there, it'll swivel. But I don't want it to swivel. 
so I don't touch the lever. Because <laughs> it'll fuck up the stove, the pipe here. Yeah, I'll, in order to stop that flame, all I got to do is turn that baffle down. It's just a little... You can buy them with that baffle in the pipe, but mine didn't come with it, so I just installed it myself. It was easy to build. Sorry if I'm shouting. I have an inner ear issue going on right now. I'm kind of sick. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, this is just a cheap $100 tent stove. So, like I said, that was one of my modifications to mount it in a van, of course. These, I would recommend these every day for a van instead of those expensive cubic mini stoves that are way too small. Uh, this thing's $100. It's easily twice the size, maybe a little more than twice the size of a cubic mini. And you can get them with like seven foot of stovepipe. So, but I, it's hard to find elbows for it, but it's three inch heavy duty metal. And I believe you can get diesel or just regular big truck exhaust uh, elbows. Three inch to actually fit this perfectly if you need to elbow it. I struggled finding at my local hardware stores elbows to fit it that are of this kind of metal so I just did a straight up because I did want to do an elbow just have the window down make a cut out to fit the window and all that but I because I didn't want to put a hole in my roof but easiest solution ended up being put a hole in my roof and it didn't come with like a handle it come with this little lever that locks it but like you touch that and you're burning your fingers so I was using pliers a lot to do everything so, and I made, I welded on this little bolt and I'd made it so that this comes off. Cause if you leave this on while you got a good fire going and the door closes, this piece of wood still gets pretty dang hot. So I just take it off and set it to the side when I'm not using it. Right now it's open. The door is cracked for, to help it burn up stuff quicker. And it's cracked because these freaking holes that are in it are way too small. It doesn't get enough airflow to really get your fire started if you light your fire and leave your door wide open it's going to put smoke in your van if you light your fire and then close the door but have both of these little vent holes open it's not enough air to keep your fire going it'll just go out not until it's a roaring fire can you close the door like right now i can actually close the door because it's going good but i want it to burn up quick uh Actually, I don't know if you can see that. That's I actually should close the door. I'm going to close the door. Yeah. Let's cool that off a bit. Um, I've had it glowing before, but never there. And that's not a good place to be glowing, because my stovepipe can just drop. Oh, you're witnessing some bad stuff. Anyway, so yeah... Not enough airflow. I had to make that little pin that you saw that just kind of holds the door open. Yeah, it's cardboard. Cardboard burns really hot. And there's a lot of it in there. It should all be on this phone. Okay, the glow's going away. We're good. Got my little fan blowing on it. Yeah, the glow's going away. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, see, I had it open for a reason. I don't know why, but even though it was a roaring fire, it just doesn't want to stay roaring. Normally, with wood that I burn, I can close it when it's that freaking hot. How's that? I opened the top vent, which for some for some reason was closed. And yeah, now we can see a good... Well, I guess I just can't see through those holes. They're clogged up with something. It is going good. That's why it was shutting down every time I shut the door all the way. because those holes are clogged up. And that's the vent that I like to go with. Because smoke doesn't come out of it. Sometimes smoke can come out this top vent. Yeah, it's all about burn up. Uh, I think there was uh, a few things plastic in there, so that's probably what's burning now. Just a pool of plastic oil in the back. And don't worry, plastic doesn't smoke as bad as cardboard and wood and stuff. 
so it doesn't tend to leak anything out the front. It just sits there and pools and goes up the chimney. So, I ain't worried about plastic in my wood stove. Not unless I leave the door open, then it starts to smell up the van. Yeah, this video is a little long, but I thought people might like to see in action as one of these little wood stoves is being used. Like I said, uh, for mounting it, if you're going to use it in a van, don't do what I did. Don't weld it. Don't bend the legs or cut them or slot them. See, they're just like, kind of like angle iron, but not angle iron, but it's, you know, a 90 degree bend, little legs, and they don't have that flat bit bottom. They're just straight down normally. And so if you're going to mount it, I recommend making like, well, just take from leg to leg a piece of actual angle iron, something like them that's just a 90 degree. Just drill a hole straight to the side of the leg. You know, you can do it side to side, lengthwise or widthwise. It don't really matter if you do it this way or front and back. Just two pieces of angle iron, you know, meeting at the legs, and then a hole drilled through the legs and the angle iron and bolt them like that. And then the part of the angle iron that's the flat part, you could then bolt it down. I should have done something like that. I probably had angle iron at the time that I could have used. I just didn't think of that till actually just now. So I do need to replace this wood stove though. It has been used all summer. Yeah, I used I cooked on it all summer. All year so far since I've had it, I've been cooking on it a lot. So even through the summer, this thing has seen a lot of use. And even now, yeah, I've been using it for burning my garbage or whatever. Yeah. Uh, so, and I didn't always all summer. I haven't had the seal, the hole around the pipe sealed off. So as you can see, like rainwater, and I used to just keep a drip pan, which was just this little black bucket thing, just fit perfectly under the corner, and I would just you know kind of set it wherever the water was going. And when it was in use and had a good fire going, I didn't have to worry about water leaking because it would just steam it all off as it was coming out. I finally have the proper stuff sealing it up, and I have plenty extra. So when I go to replace this with another one just like it, I will mount it properly, and it will, uh, it will be sealed up properly as well. Over there's my